Hello and welcome to this demonstration of the Excelos warehouse management system uh, integrated to the NetSuite ERP business system. We're going to start by showing you the purchase order process and receiving goods into the warehouse. So we're going to go into our NetSuite application here and into transactions and create a purchase order. We'll create a purchase order for uh, supplier American computers and that purchase order is going to be delivered to our main fulfillment warehouse which is the warehouse where we're using our Excelos WMS. Uh, we then add a couple of products to this order uh, enter the quantity and units of measure if we want to I'll do two lines just to, uh, to illustrate the receiving process so if we go down here and uh, we'll stick in uh, an HP. Okay if we save that away, the purchase order will now be processed and sent to the warehouse management system. Um, both the NetSuite application and the Excelos application are hosted in the cloud, so there is no need to have a server on premise. Uh, everything is done through, as you see, these web pages. So if we um, go over to the WMS now and take a look at the purchase order management screen, um, we see here uh, a number of orders. Um, they are filtered by their um, date created. We can change that filter to uh, due date um, and refresh. And we can see that we've got uh, one order expected on the 18th of May and two orders on the 22nd. Uh, if we drill down into those two orders, we can see here the two orders from American Computers. And if we take the larger number, we can see here our purchase order uh, that we raised uh, in NetSuite. Now, we can receive this in via a handheld device. Um, the Excelos WMS supports uh, um, Symbol, uh, Intermac, various different uh, handheld scanning devices. And the screen is based either on a web browser, which you'll see here, or it can be based on a Telnet session, so sort of simple green screen. Um, every user in Excelos has a login, and we enter the username and password um, to log into the system. And uh, as soon as that user's logged in, you'll see here any assigned work that uh, has been electronically assigned to them. So maybe they've uh, got some picks to do or some receiving uh, or even some cycle counts. That's for information only. Uh, if we click on next, we get to our main menu. This, uh, this user has quite a lot of responsibility in the warehouse. Uh, so they can do receiving, picking, shipping, repacking. Normally, a user would have a limited menu here. Uh, but uh, in this instance, we can we can do everything. If I click on the receiving icon, you can see the ama amount of receiving options available inside Excelos, um, including uh, what we call regular or PO receiving um, through to uh, returns or RMA receiving, uh, advanced shipping notices. Um, and in some instances, when we don't actually know uh, or don't have a document in which we can receive against, we can do uh, non-PO receiving to bring stock into the system. In this instance we do have a PO. Um, the PO is here which is uh, 1045 um, and we're going to go into regular receiving and enter the 1045 number. The system tells us uh, briefly what's expected on this purchase order so two lines and 50 units from American we confirm that's the one we want to work on and uh, now we have a, a wave or, or job um, uh, to start receiving in. Now with Excelos we can book in uh, one order at a time with one person or if it was say a, a large container we could book in uh, several purchase orders um, in parallel with, with multiple people so it's quite flexible each uh, individual receiver would have a handheld scanner and would be uh, booking in the stock that they find. In this instance we're just going to start receiving um, this particular order we enter the product number uh, or preferably using the barcode scanner uh, scan the uh, the product barcode that might be an inner barcode or an outer barcode um, in this instance I'm simulating the interface so I press enter and I can see the products that I'm expecting so if I just choose uh, the first one there um, 
It then pulls up from the purchase order the ordered quantity, which was 20, and keeps a running total of what's been booked in, so currently zero. Um, we also see the pack size. Now, in, in this system, it's defaulting to one, but this is quite useful for booking in, say, a whole pallet or an outer carton. So if we keep the default uh, value of one there and say that we find uh, all 20 uh, of those um, as we're booking it in. Now, if it wasn't labeled, we can print um, either case or product labels at this point. I'm going to skip that here. Um, and now we are asked to put it away into a bin. Now, this is the first time I've received this product, so I could... Uh, quality inspector you see down here which will lock it um, but more importantly it doesn't yet have an assigned bin um, and in this instance I don't have any uh, directed put away rules in place to give me a suggestion so the user can simply put the product into a bin location so we'll create a, a bin location here okay so it's a new bin normally you would have set your your whole um, layout of your warehouse up but in this demonstration, we're putting it into a brand new bin. It's letting me create that. So that's it. That's that's booked that line in. If I go back and refresh it here, you'll see that um, I ordered 20 and I've received 20. Um, we do have a log um, up here and we can see which user actually received that in. So we've got the log information. Um, and uh, we can carry on and just finish it by receiving the second uh, line on that order so let's just book that in uh, again we'll do it at pack size of one but this time we'll say we only found 20 out of the 30 and uh, we'll skip the labels and put it into a bin nearby okay again a new bin so we just create that now if I press enter the uh, second product still on the list because I haven't found all of it but at this stage I'm happy to complete and I just click the uh, complete button um, to process that particular goods receipt. So that's it, there's no paper, um, everything's done on a handheld scanner and uh, if we refresh the order here in the warehouse system you can see it's now ready to upload and send that, transmit that information of uh, 20 received on each line um, back up uh, into NetSuite. So there's a bit of a, a, a 30 second uh, cycle on this so um, we just let that run through and then we should see that inside the uh, NetSuite application. We have, uh, as I mentioned before, the logs. The logs mean that we can track performance of individuals. So um, we can see who's uh, receiving the most amount of stock, who's picking the most amount of stock, etc. So every transaction, every stock movement is logged on the handheld scanner. Okay, so that's now um, flagged here that it's been uploaded uh, into NetSuite. So if we go back into NetSuite, and look at this order we'll refresh it here you'll see the uh, the status of this order has been partially received um, and you can see here that uh, we've received 20 of uh, each of those uh, individual lines so hopefully that demonstrates the the integration on the receiving side in the next uh, demonstration we'll show how the integration works on the picking or dispatch side.